हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक हैंडलिंग मल्टीपल फाइल्स ऑफ ए एल इलेवन डायरेक्टरी एज ए पार्ट ऑफ फाइल हैंडलिंग टॉपिक एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव यूज्ड द रीड डेटा सेट स्टेटमेंट वी हैव सिंपली स्प्लिटेड द डेटा we used this particular attribute which is for tab because our file has a separator tab horizontal tab then we have simply simply used this read data set statement in the do loop we have written a logic to exit from the do loop and we close that particular file now into this particular video firstly we will create a database table because ultimately whatever the data is there whatever the data is coming we need to store into one database table so i will create a database table of four column employee id employee name age and employee location so i will simply go to sc11 transaction and parallelly will create that domain and data elements as well suppose my name of the table is zd emp okay suppose i will write set t emp suppose handle now i will simply go for create i will give the short description to store the employee data of multiple files i will take the delivery class i'll go for suppose a because we will not go for sm30 transaction code to maintain that program will insert the data to this particular table we'll go for display maintenance allowed suppose i will go for fields what is the first column in the table always ma and dt which is client number of sap system ma and dt is the data element now first we will go for eid suppose i will go for data element suppose zde suppose i will write employee id suppose underscore handle suppose i will use the word underscore handle so that there will not be any duplicacy yes sir i will not get any error so i am creating a data element i will go for yes i will save this as a local object suppose i will write employee id i will simply provide the field label this is our emp suppose i will go for employee id suppose i will go for emp id here i will pass full employee id full employee id full employee id now i will create domain see in this way i am using top down approach table data element domain you can go for bottom up approach also create domain first then create data element and then use in the table it is totally your wish how you want to go into this i am going for top down approach table data element domain now i will give that domain suppose that the eid underscore handle i will simply go for numeric tag so i'll create a domain employee id suppose i will go for numsi because in the program also i have written numeric tag i will simply activate this domain i will simply activate this data element now i will go for employee id yes it will be the primary key of the table now i will go for employee name so i will write z d e e name underscore handle i will go for yes i am creating data element employee name suppose i will go for domain z d e name 
I'll provide the field label, suppose EMP name, employee name. Now I will simply create this domain. Now I will go for character 40 because in the program also I declared as character 40 from the F4 help you can take cap. 40. Suppose I will simply go for 40. I will simply activate that domain. I will activate that data element. Now I will go for employee age. I'll just go for name employee age. I will double click. I'll create the data element. Employee H. Now I will simply, simply go for field label. This is our EMP H. I will write employee H. Employee H. Employee H. Suppose now I will go for domain. Suppose employee H, I will go for numeric 2. I'll create this employee H. Suppose I will take it as numeric 2. We have numc. I will simply go for 2. I will activate. Now I will activate this data element. Employee H. Done. Now we will go for employee location. If you have existing table, you can use that also. It is not necessary to create. You can use existing one also, but yes, if it has same to same number of columns. Yes. Now I will create this data element. I will go for employee location. Now I will go for field label. Suppose EMP LOC. I will write employee location. I will provide long heading. I will create domain now. I will go for D. Now I will simply go for character 3. I already told you because we will go for fixed values. This is our employee location. Suppose I will go for character 3. Now I will go for fixed values. I'll go to value range. Suppose AHD is Ahmedabad. Suppose we will go for BLR, it is Bangalore. Suppose I will go for MUM, it is for Mumbai. Suppose I will go for CHN, it is for Chennai. As of now, core is okay, yes. Anyways, we have two files only, Ahmedabad and Bangalore, yes. I will go for activation of data element. Now I will come here. So in that table, now we have fields, domain, data elements, yes, everything. Now so many people will think you are not maintaining the data through SM30. Then why you are going for display maintenance allowed? You can go for display maintenance not allowed also. No problem because anyways, program will insert the data into this particular table. So I will go for technical settings. Now I will choose the data class. Yes, we'll go for AWP L0. 
Okay, suppose if we will consider this as master data, suppose we'll go for AWPL0, we'll go for size category to see. I will go for save. Now I will simply activate this table. So our table is activated. Now I will come to the program and we will write the logic. Now important part. Just see here, one by one, one by one, we are splitting that data. So yes, so if we have five, Shravani, age, PLR, it is coming into these particular four variables from these, it is coming into these four variables. Now we'll simply, simply pass this data to a work area. From a work area, we'll pass it to internal table. Whenever it is into internal table, we'll simply insert that data to this particular table. This is our requirement. So what we will do, I'll simply write a logic to firstly pass the data to work area. From work area, we'll go for internal table and then we'll simply pass that or we'll simply store that internal table. We'll go for database operation insert. Now, now I will declare a work area or internal table. It's it's always, always good to go for a now whenever you are going for database operation, how you are writing. Insert database table from work area or from table internal table. So it means whenever you are going for database operation, work area and internal table must be same as that of database table. Suppose if a table, this table has five columns, including MA and DT. So your work area and or internal table, whatever you are using, it must have same to same columns. So how I will declare the internal table and work area here by using the table itself. Suppose I'm writing LWAEMP type. This is our table. So your work area has five columns. Yes, your work area has five columns. Now I will declare internal table. LT underscore EMP type table of. This is our database table. So we declare the work area of five columns. We declare the internal table of five columns. Now we will simply use. So one by one, we'll pass that data to work area. So LWAEMP, what is first column? EID. It is coming from LV underscore EMP ID. Yes. I will put control D. You all know it is a shortcut to duplicate a line. This is our employee name. Yes. This is our employee age. This is our employee location. Now we will simply write employee name. This is our employee age. This is our employee location. E L O C. Now your data is in work area, how you will insert it to internal table using append statement. Append work area to internal table. You all know after every append, we should clear the work area. So I will clear the work area. Now you can see one by one, it will split the record one by one, it will split the record. It will split the record. Values are in variables. Values are in variables. From the variable, we are passing it to work area. From work area, we are passing it to internal table. It means into this internal table, we have these five records. First record is anyways title. We'll do with this. Now, 
into this internal table, we have all the pipe records. Now we need to insert it to database table. You all know we have a database operation insert. So we will simply use that database operation. So I will write simply if LT underscore EMP is not initial. Is not initial means there is some record into this internal table. I will go for end if. Now I will simply use the insert statement. Insert database table statement. Insert. What is our database table? This is our database table. Insert this database table from table. What is the name of internal table? LT underscore EMP. And you can see this internal table has five columns. This database table has also five columns. Now, we'll go for one important point here. We are inserting the records from this internal table, but we do not want to insert this first record. First record is title. First record is title. So whenever you are inserting the records to this database table, please, please delete the first record. Or you can simply write a logic here also. Do not append the first record to internal table. If first record is not in internal table, it will not go to database table. Or once you insert to internal table before inserting to database table, then you can delete. So I'll simply write a logic here. Delete LT underscore EMP. You all know how you can delete a record at a specific index. I will write index one because our title is at index one. So it will simply delete the record which is at index one. So now this internal table has only four records which will go to this particular database table. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, firstly, I created a database table. If you already have a database table, you can use that one, no problem at all. I created the domain data elements. I considered it as master data table. So you can take delivery class as display maintenance, not allowed also, no problem, because we are not maintaining through SM30 transaction code. This program is inserting that data. So we created the domain data element, we provided the technical settings and we activated that table. Now, one by one, we simply pass the data to work area, from work area to internal table. From internal table, we insert it to database table. Before inserting to database table, please delete the first record of the internal table because it is a column title. Now, your work area internal table must have the same type as that of database table. Those who are not good at logical building, please try this particular because you can simply consider it's just like a real project requirement itself. It's just like a real case study itself. You, you might have different set of requirement, but it is some same set of some sort of same sort of requirement will be there. So that's it into this particular video. Into the next video, we'll simply simply go for Whenever after insert, if insert is successful, we need to simply delete and we need to archive also. So that part will continue in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.